The SIT team that's formed by the Gujarat government uh, in action. They've been investigating to find out where and what went wrong. How did the bridge collapse? A bridge that was renovated barely a week ago. And as per Ashutosh, we believe that barely two crores were spent on a bridge which is said to be built in the 19th century during the British era. How is it still functional? What really uh, went wrong with regards to uh, the company, that private company or ever uh, carrying out... Uh, you know, allowing for people to come on that bridge and allowing it to function without a proper fitness certificate. So where were the real lapses? You know, Ashutosh, I, I'd like to ask you uh, some clarity on how many people approximately may have been on that bridge. Has there been any clarity? Has Oreva given any understanding on the number of tickets that they've sold? Well, um, as well, it is anticipated that 300 to 400 people were on that bridge, and, but uh, because largely the crowd was seen only uh, between 5:30 to 6 o'clock, and around 6:10, 6:10 this incident unfolded, and that invest, that will be part of the investigation. Uh, the, uh, the members, those who were uh, of the Oreva, were selling the tickets at both the sides. Of course, they will be inquired. The statement will also be recorded because, as it itself says, with the indication, do not crowd, and you are under surveillance, CCTV surveillance. Do not take selfies. Despite these directives, but in the meanwhile, we are beaming these live images of the SIT team, uh, a DSP level investigation, investigative officer who is carrying out the investigation. And along with that, there is also uh, Gandhi Nagar forensic team. These are the members of the forensic team because scientific uh, uh, forensic analysis will bring out the real picture about the safety audit. So, what we are seeing around seven to eight members, including the police and the forensic team, which are inspecting the broken cable. These are live images from Morbi at this ground zero at the site of this uh, incident so clearly all those aspects will be part of the investigation and only can be now, said Ashutosh, uh, w would you be able to establish how many people have been rescued so far in total Well, the rescue operation was really uh, very difficult because last evening it was since totally dark and the people could only be saved mostly who escaped because they were good swimmers. Those who could not swim were literally trapped under this uh, bridge which collapsed because mostly the casualty that we are seeing was only at one point where the bridge collapsed and people were actually trapped under that. Those who could survive were either good swimmers or those who were left only on this suspended part of the bridge.